I used to suffer from hemochromatosis. It was a nasty condition, and to be honest, my memories of it are all bad. Until a few years ago, hemochromatosis, or HCT, was something that you have to manage over the rest of your life. Managing it required regular, never-ending hospital trips and invasive, unpleasant treatments. Yet, after years of battling HCT, I'm past all that now. I've been clear for a little over three years. I've not been back to the hospital at all in that time except for an annual checkup and to make sure my iron levels are, indeed, well within safe ranges, which they always are. Yet, there was a time I didn't dare to even hope I'd be well again. I was giving blood once, but sometimes twice, a week in order to reduce the excess iron soaked into every tissue of my body. My phlebotomist reckoned I'd be doing this for at least a year. After that, I faced maintenance blood giving for the rest of my life. And this is the thing. Standard pharmaceutical treatments are forever. There's no end to hemochromatosis with this approach, so there's no end to the treatments. Except, there now is an end to hemochromatosis. We know that HCT is switched on by a specific gene in the body. We also know that this switch doesn't have to be on. If both parents have the gene, then their children do too. Yet only some of those children will go on to suffer HCT. Even in identical twins, one person's switch could be on while the other person's is off. The key to properly tackling HCT isn't to endlessly drain the body of excess iron. It's to find out why that switch is on and then to switch it off. Incredibly, we already know why the switch is on. We've known for years. More recently, a method for switching it off has been validated with several thousand HCT sufferers. The argument that hemochromatosis runs in the family is the reason we accept it as inevitable and lifelong. What we now know is that the fact you got HCT from your parents is meaningless. What matters is not that you have inherited it. What matters is that there is an HCT switch and that it is switched on. It didn't have to switch on, and it doesn't have to stay switched on. And once I found all this out, my life was transformed. If you have hemochromatosis right now, it's not just because you inherited it from your parents. Something else, some missing link was switching on the HCT gene and so creating the illness in your body. That switching on effect is the actual cause of HCT. That's why I used to have HCT, and it's why you have it now. The missing link is now known, and it shows us a path out of the HCT nightmare. And that's the path I took back into full and vibrant health. Having HCT for life is no longer inevitable. It's the HCT switch that leads to the condition. That switch is the cause of HCT. And knowing this, we finally have the power to directly influence those causes. And that's exactly what I learned to do. I made barely noticeable but very powerful alterations to some specific things I did, things that my HCT switch was strongly affected by, and then watched my iron reading start to tumble. As you might expect, the details of how this works is pretty complex. But for me as a sufferer of HCT, the way of using this powerful discipline was very straightforward, and it changed my life forever. I'm not that clever. So, a bit of a disclaimer here. I'm not some scientific whiz kid who worked this out by myself. I stumbled onto this information by accident. I read about a treatment for HCT in an old online health forum some years ago. Some ex-HCT sufferers were describing how they had followed a program created by a science-based natural health practitioner called Shelley Manning. They'd made some simple but specific changes to their diets, which had made profound changes to how their HCT behaved. First, excess iron started draining from their blood and tissues. They experienced gradually falling iron levels month after month without a single medical treatment from their hospital. Second, they described how the program also tackled the actual cause of their HCT, the source of their illness. It didn't just mop up years of excess iron. It got rid of the very reason for all this to be happening in the first place, so that none of it happened anymore. They said the program they followed stopped the absorption of excess iron. They hadn't just tinkered with HCT symptoms. They'd hit the condition hard at its central cause. They'd beaten HCT. I'll be brutally honest here. I didn't believe a word of it. I'm not at all into alternative health stuff, rightly or wrongly. Wrongly, as it turned out, I trust doctors in everything, which might make you wonder why I was even looking at alternative therapies for my HCT in the first place. Why was I even considering this stuff? Well, I'll tell you why. It was because the standard therapies I had been undergoing were starting to hurt. I'd been seeing a phlebotomist for several months, mostly giving blood twice a week. 
It had started off okay, but dizziness and the risk of falling had gradually become a real problem for me. Even when I switched to giving blood monthly, the dizziness remained, but I also started experiencing heart irregularities and bad pains in my stomach. The health threats became so dangerous that, in the end, phlebotomy had to be replaced by iron chelation, which meant taking drugs that bind with excess iron in the blood, making it easier to eliminate that iron from the body. But this is another unnatural process, and over time it produced new unwelcome side effects, including vomiting, diarrhea, and nasty skin rashes. I became very worried about how all this was going to end. My doctor was very supportive, but he'd seen this all before. Treatments start out okay, but they don't always stay that way. In truth, the standard treatments for HCT were not nice even when they work. But for me, they were no longer even working, while the side effects were becoming increasingly nastier. And I faced a lifetime of this. I was stuck. And the more I worried about where this would all end up, the more willing I was to look elsewhere for help. And that's exactly how I found myself listening to respected natural health practitioners like Shelley Manning, which was probably one of the best decisions I ever made, to be honest. Choice made. So despite initial skepticism about the claims of ex-HCT sufferers, I decided to do what they did. I got a copy of the same program, and I followed it to the letter. And it worked. My iron readings have been in the safe range for just over three years now. I'm not expecting they'll ever be a problem for me ever again. I can't tell you how happy, how relieved I was when I got the all clear. I honestly nearly cried. Let me tell you how it all worked for me. HCT treated in two steps. The program that did it for me is called Ironbound. It explains a lot about the science behind why the protocol actually works. There are hundreds of research papers and experimental results from laboratories and universities across the U.S., Europe, and the rest of the world that show just how to manage conditions like HCT right out of your life. But the program aims at achieving two simple sets of goals, a game-changing primary goal and a couple of vitally important secondary goals. Goal 1, the primary goal. The primary goal is to switch off the HCT switch. Stop the darn thing from creating HCT in the first place. That's the game changer. If the switch stops creating the HCT, then how can you have HCT? Do that and that's our main problem solved. Goal 2, the secondary goal. The secondary goal is to clear up the huge excess of iron that's still in the body and to start undoing the damage that iron did to tissues and organs throughout the body. Once these two goals are achieved, your work is done. Why exactly is our HCT switch on? The on switch for hemochromatosis, the thing that activates HCT in our bodies, is actually the lack of something called hepcidin. Hepcidin is a peptide hormone that directly regulates iron in our body. When we've absorbed enough iron from food, hepcidin goes to the intestines to shut down any further iron absorption. Hepcidin stops iron absorption when we have enough iron. It keeps iron levels healthy. It stops iron overload. It stops hemochromatosis. I had HCT because my body was not producing hepcidin, so I couldn't shut down iron absorption when I had enough iron in my body. And this is why you currently have HCT. You're absorbing dangerous amounts of iron from food because you don't have the hepcidin needed to stop that absorption. You can't switch off your HCT switch. Why doesn't your body have the hepcidin it needs to avoid overabsorbing iron? That's the huge question. Solve this problem and it's all over. So long, HCT. The missing link. That question has been answered. That problem has been solved. It all comes down to a simple mechanism that takes place in, of all places, your gut. You may already be familiar with the discovery that our gut environment contains trillions of good, beneficial bacteria. What scientists know and have proven is that these various types of bacteria are beyond just beneficial. They perform functions that are essential to health and to life. Gut bacteria have been with humans since the beginning of humanity. We can't be healthy without them. We can't be alive without them. They extract nutrients from food that our bodies can't extract. They produce hormones and brain chemicals that our bodies can't produce. They assist in so many body processes that scientists regard gut bacteria as an organ in its own right. A range of common Western diseases, including low moods, heart disease, blood sugar imbalances, obesity, and chronic inflammation, are shown to be directly caused by problems with our gut populations. 
Specifically, it is when we lack certain specific bacteria types that we get particular conditions. Gut bacteria has been proven to be so important to our health that in America and across Europe, transplants of healthy gut bacteria into the guts of sick people are proving to be almost overnight successes in treating some illnesses. And it's gut bacteria that sits at the root of our HCT problem. The explanation is technical, but here's the super simple version. If you have HCT, it's because you can't stop absorbing excess iron. Your body needs hepcidin to do that, and it doesn't have any. Why doesn't it have any hepcidin? Because it can't manufacture it. To manufacture hepcidin, we need a substance called butyrate. But there isn't enough butyrate in your body to make the hepcidin you need. And without the butyrate, you can't have the hepcidin. It's a simple chain. Butyrate makes hepcidin. Your body uses hepcidin to stop your body absorbing excess iron. If you don't have the butyrate, you can't have that hepcidin. Make the butyrate and you get the hepcidin. It's that simple. Guess who makes butyrate? Yes, your gut bacteria make butyrate. Specific bacteria are responsible for producing butyrate. If you don't have enough of that bacteria, then you don't get any butyrate, so you don't get any hepcidin. Want to know how to fix HCT? Fix those bacteria. Make them healthy again. Let them get on with their job of producing butyrate. So you can then make hepcidin. So your HCT switch can move to the off position and finally stop absorbing all that excess iron. So how do we fix our gut bacteria? Scientists have long known that gut bacteria are ultra sensitive to the kinds of food we eat. They respond fantastically well to the right nutrients. If they're not getting what they specifically need, their numbers reduce dramatically. Without their health-giving activity, illness eventually follows. However, give them exactly what they need in the quantities and combinations that they need it, and all that health-giving, life-preserving bacteria will flourish. And when it flourishes, so do you. And this is what I did. I followed the program, did the right things, and literally ate my problems away. Beware! Make no mistake, this is not about healthy eating. Not in the sense we hear about on television and in magazines. In many respects, it's far easier. But we've got to be smart with this. Those microscopic, life-saving friends of ours need specific foods in the right quantities. If they thrive, then we do too. Remember, we have HCT in the first place because those bacteria are struggling. We have to address this so they can get back to doing their vital work for us. They are the broken link in the chain that leads to HCT. We want to fix that chain quickly and the right foods in the right quantities at the right time does exactly this, which is what I and thousands like me have done. We use food supplements to heal our gut and so switch back on the supply of butyrate. The butyrate allowed our HCT switch to start producing hepcidin, which it then used to stop the overabsorption of excessive iron, and so ending the overload of iron that creates hemochromatosis. This was all new to me. I'd never used a food supplement before, to be honest, until I'd felt them work on my own body, I just didn't believe in that kind of thing. I had to see it for myself before I was convinced beyond any doubts. If you're unsure of these things, I understand. But as someone who no longer suffers the ravages of HCT, let me say, don't underestimate the colossal power of the right supplements in the right quantities at the right time. The nutrients we need come from fruits, plant stems, leaves, roots. They're highly reliable, very powerful. They have a transforming effect on our gut health and, therefore, HCT. But the nutrients we need are difficult to consume in the quantities we need in order to get well again, which is exactly why we take supplements. Supplements are just concentrated forms of the essential nutrients found naturally in these foods. The right supplements are easy to consume because small amounts are highly effective. This is why this supplementation plan works. It provides plenty of what your body badly needs to be well but in a format that's easy to consume. Beware, standard healthy eating advice can be dangerous for HCT. The key to me escaping the clutches of HCT was knowledge. Certain foods and supplements work very well when taken on their own, but are useless if you've eaten certain other foods around the same time. It's easy to work around, but you've got to have your facts straight. This program tells you exactly what you need to know so you get it right, and then enjoy the effects of getting it right. Oh, and junk health advice, like don't drink coffee, doesn't exist in the Ironbound program. Coffee, for example, 
needs to be kept separate from certain other substances, but apart from that, I don't know where I'd be without my morning cup of joe. The five superstars that did it for me. Again, although the detail is complex, what I had to do to tackle HCT was easy. The majority of the powerful effects of Shelley Manning's program came down to five specific nutrients. Together, these five superstars, as Shelley calls them, did the following. Rejuvenated my gut bacteria so they produced healthy amounts of butyrate once more. Enabled the HCT switch to produce hepcidin so it could stop absorbing dangerous amounts of iron. And introduced powerful natural chelating nutrients into my body, substances that bind with iron making it easy to discharge as waste. Combined, these five superstar supplements stopped HCT at its source and cleaned up all the iron that was soaked into my blood and body tissues. I bought these superstars in my local supermarket. They're not exotic substances, they're not expensive, and because they're completely natural, they're food, basically. They're super easy to consume. And they're temporary. I don't have to take these supplements anymore. Once they've done their work, they're no longer necessary. It is necessary to include some specific foods on a weekly basis, foods that keep your gut bacteria happy. I buy those foods each week at my local supermarket and I make sure I eat them. It really doesn't get more complicated than that. Those micro friends in my gut keep on producing the butyrate so my HCT switch can manufacture hepcidin and ensure I never again absorb excess iron. No more phlebotomy, no more chelation drugs, no more doctors, hospitals, or procedures. Side effects? The five superstars have side effects, but these are the kind of side effects you'd want. I lost weight without dieting. About 10 pounds of fat in all. Took about five months. I found myself sleeping much, much better and generally feeling more energized and cheerful throughout the day. I also found out that the five superstars offer strong protection against heart disease liver and kidney malfunction, tumor growth, erratic blood sugars, chronic inflammation, hormonal imbalance, and bone weakness. Many people have also pointed out another very desirable side effect of this program, namely that it showed measurable improvement in sexual functioning, sex drive in men and women, erections in men. I won't comment on that last point, although I'm smiling as I write this. Research-based, scientifically proven across the world, Shelley Manning is not claiming to have invented a way out of HCT. She isn't claiming some level of genius that nobody else has. Instead, Shelley is a highly respected alternative health practitioner with a number of hugely successful natural health remedies to her name. She researches intensely and experiments widely before releasing her programs. Everything in the Ironbound program is based on two decades of research results and scientific fact uncovered by universities and research institutions across North America, Europe, and the rest of the world. None of the claims here are new. None of the discoveries in themselves are unique. All of it is widely known and accepted by medical scientists everywhere. What is new is that Shelley Manning has gathered together a wide range of complex, proven medicine into a single, simple program designed specifically for people like you and me, people who simply don't want a lifetime of hemochromatosis. And as a result, the program has several thousand very happy followers, people like me who despaired of ever being free of HCT, but who today can barely remember what the disease even felt like. Shelley's meticulous analysis has resulted in what, for me, was a near miracle way out of a disease that I thought I was going to suffer for life. I am so glad I found her Ironbound program, and so relieved that someone had created it. So how about you? For all the horrors of hemochromatosis, the way out of that disease was remarkably straightforward. Instead of visits to my doctor, I went to the local supermarket. Instead of weekly phlebotomy sessions to remove blood, I ate supplements for about 12 weeks until the HCT switch was in the off position. Instead of chemically clearing out excess iron, I ate normal foods that specialize in removing excess iron cleanly and without harm to any part of the body. Shelley's Ironbound solution showed me exactly what I needed to do and when to do it. I did what she said and I got the rewards. The science behind Ironbound is unanswerable. The body intends to be well. If you give it what it needs, then it will be well and can't actually do otherwise. I have enjoyed three years in a row with normal iron levels and zero HCT symptoms. For me, that's everything I had wished for. Do you want the same? If you're concerned enough about your illness that you're looking for a way out of it, 
than I imagine you do. Ironbound was my answer. It'll be your answer too. I guarantee it. Click below and you can get started on your journey out of HCT today. What we address gets better. Illness doesn't just happen. It has a cause. And we now know the cause of HCT. So instead of handling symptoms, we can go directly to the source of the illness and handle that instead. When we've removed the cause of the illness, you simply can't have that illness. We feed our gut bacteria so they create the butyrate that makes hepcidin, which means your HCT switch can stop your body absorbing excess iron. Instead of a lifetime of unnatural bloodletting or chemical treatments, we have a few months of natural supplements that treat HCT at its source. We don't have to suffer a lifetime of HCT. Ironbound is our way out. Get it here below the video. The HCT endgame isn't pretty. I went through the standard HCT treatments. They started off okay, but the side effects got progressively worse. And those treatments are required for your entire life. You can never stop. But one day, I'd be too old to withstand the side effects of bloodletting and chemical injections. Then what? It was infinitely better for me that I fix HCT at its source while I still had time. A temporary course of supermarket supplements and then a varied eating program afterwards did everything I wanted. If I hadn't done this, I'd still be visiting my hospital, subjecting myself to completely unnatural procedures and suffering ever-worsening side effects. I couldn't face a future like that. Thankfully, I didn't have to. You don't have to either. Ironbound shows you how. Click below and get your copy today.